compensation that was done which was not very clear. And majority of our people were not paid. And it's this commission, the Land Commission and uh, the Ministry of Mining, to establish the facts and ensure that our, the right uh, people are paid and are paid uh, in a manner that will not, uh, in a manner that will ensure that their lives continue uh, in a very good uh, manner. We are also concentrating on um, ensuring that uh, uh, the mining process or the factory is reopened very soon. So it will not reopen until we have uh, concluded the process of compensation. And uh, we have committed, uh, I mean the National Land Commission and the Minister have committed that they will speedily finish this and then immediately we get an investor which will open jobs for our people at the same time revenue to our county and even to the national government operation. So thank you very much and uh, God bless. Uh, chairman, Chairman, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, this is a very old uh, issue, as you have been told, from 1975. It's now 43 years uh, not concluded, and uh, we have teamed up with the county government of El Gayo, the Minister of Mining and the community and ourselves to ensure that we sort this matter out once for all. As you are aware, there was a presidential directive last year. So we came in, uh, in uh, this year and uh, today's meeting was to uh, concretize the, 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 the issues that we have been told by the MCA and uh, uh, the, uh, the MLA member of parliament. So total acreage, nine, about 9,000 acres. Total uh, area for mining about 6,000 acres. Uh, people who are recorded to have been uh, project affected persons those days is 4,329. Uh, of course, depending on the size of families, you may have 500 households or whatever, but that's the total number of, of people and the acreage. And to us, what is important is the acreage taken and the number of persons affected. So uh, what we have found out after looking at the task force report, there was a task force report appointed by Honorable Balala and uh, having uh, interviewed the people on the ground and this uh, consultation meeting, this is the third meeting we have had, is that some of the correspondence is saying people were paid. No proof is there. Other correspondences are pay, saying people were not paid. Even the office that finally delivered the money is confusion as to whether it was the district commissioner's office or the treasury or something like that. So because of that doubt, we have asked for another two weeks to go and finally, finally come up with a conclusive evidence as to whether people were paid in the first place and if they were paid, how many uh, were paid and so on. Even when they were this, uh, this work was being done, there were two uh, groups. There were those ones who wanted to be paid land for land. And then there were those ones who wanted to be paid uh, land for cash. We still have to identify uh, those two groups to know if the people who wanted land for cash, were they paid? In what form? Where is the signature? Where they signed that they? Where is the, 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 the record that they signed that? They got the money. For the ones of who are saying was supposed to be paid uh, land for land, there are rumors or there is reports that are not conclusive that three areas had been identified, three parcels of land had been identified for that purpose. We have to find out whether these parcels were taken up or they are still vacant, so that when we make a decision, we can easily take the people there. Yes. Yes. I think uh, pursuant to the presidential directive uh, for, for us to compensate uh, our people at the floor spa, uh, we have uh, taken a process through the National Land Commission uh, to verify uh, that, they were, that the, the people said were not paid or paid. In today's meeting, there was no proof, sufficient proof to prove to tell us the, that the, they were paid because of the reports uh, which were actually tabled uh, contradicting themselves. So we want to give ourselves two weeks to strictly comply with the law, 
that we will not do double compensation. If there are people who are paid, then we will not pay them. And from the list we've seen, it seems some are not paid. Therefore, those who have not been paid, they must be paid. This is a matter that should be concluded in two weeks. We know very well a directive was given by the president. We'll comply to that directive. I want to tell the people of Gayo Maraquet that we are committed. And this matter should be expedited. In the next few months, we should complete so that a new investor comes in. We have enough deposits to take us another 33 years. We want to get an investor there quickly for the people of El Geo Maraquet to benefit from the mining that will take place in that part of the world. I want to thank Kenyans who have waited all this time for this compensation. We've told money was paid in 1975, and the few who are paid started getting money in 1986-87. Surely that's the proof it was, not, it was not done properly. I want to believe that there were people who were not paid. And I also believe maybe some of them were paid. This will be determined in the next two weeks. And we'll proceed to allocate money and pay through the National Land Commission. And the Minister of uh, Petroleum and Mining will actually go straight away and organize the process of now identifying an investor to enable us uh, begin and commence mining by end of this year. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rassi. can answer this. The majority of the people up there don't have type of things. I don't know how are they going to protect you. Well, by law, compensation is through title deeds or even uh, occupying the land. You can be paid by, by this country through a compensation by the fact that you stayed there. They can also be part of those who, who are going to be compensated by the fact that they stayed there. Because any public land that has minerals or oil minerals is government. Whether you have the title deed sitting there or whether you don't have a title deed, government has the obligation of uh, compensating those found residing on those pieces of land. Are you going to evaluate the land at that time or as per now? I think that's the question of uh, well, my we brother are, here. We are, we are going to value as per today. And you know valuation is uh, ascertaining the value of a property at a particular point in time. So 75 up to now is 43 years. Those values are cake. We are paying now. So we cannot rely on the value of 75. So we are going to, we have, we have already carried out valuations as up to today's date. Yeah. It was actually 450 shillings that time. So you don't expect us to be paying 450 shillings per acre. Yeah. My brother tells me in uh, Nyaururu, in Laikipe, it was 50 shillings. Uh, actually, 70 shillings. Nakuru was 30. Nakuru was 30 shillings. <laughs> so, of course, it has gone up. Yeah. <laughs> so, have you set aside some amount that might be 